There's just so many things to do, I'm just freaking out. You're right, bro, you got this. So I made this Instagram story. I put like a, a little thing here saying, what should I do for Halloween? And this is what you guys said. Lol, dress up as Peter McKinnon. Tomorrow is his birthday, by the way. What? Let's do that. And the next one, lol, dress up as Casey Neistat. How do you even dress up as them? That would actually be very creepy and probably a very good video, but I don't know what their reaction would be. What would Casey and Peter say? If they ever were like, oh yeah, these guys are good. Like, let's collaborate with them. And then they see that video. They're like, there's no way we're collaborating. Dress as Casey Neistat. Multiple people are saying Why? this. Frank's seventh era and break his camera <laughs> you're a savage pumpkin head session what is that what does that mean pumpkin head session flares and pumpkins flares and pumpkins do a flare in a pumpkin flares and pumpkin okay we're getting heaps of flares and pumpkins be any pumpkins at Woolies at all I was more thinking about the flares if we can even get one today because it's Sunday <laughs> oh it's Sunday again my dad told me to ring you guys, uh, asking if you guys sold flares by any chance? Yes, we do. Oh, okay, cool. Do you mind if I come down and grab one? It's Halloween, so I don't know whether they're actually going to sell pumpkins at the moment because obviously they'll probably be all out of stock. We left it a bit late, but... I was wondering if you guys have any pumpkins left? We do. Oh, we do. yes. Fantastic. Thank Perfect. you. We're going to come down and grab some. Woo! Yes! <laughs> so we've got a first try as well. Yep. <laughs> I was trying to get B-roll of you getting in the car and it wasn't even open. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now it's open. It actually is, I swear. It's open. No, it's not! It's not open! You, you're a dog! <laughs> Alright, we're at the boating place now, but I don't want to go in there because if we film in there it looks a bit sus with getting the flares. I'm gonna do a match cut. If I have it in my hand, then I have the flares. If not, then we don't have it. So Oh no! damn it! <laughs> we got the flares, baby! Two bucks a kilo. That's probably feels about five kilos, so ten yeah. bucks. Yeah, I reckon pumpkins are like one of the worst tasting foods in the world. And potatoes. Those are the two things I just can't eat. That is evil, dude. That is so evil. I'm scared looking at it. Oh my god. That is so evil. So it's just gonna stick into there. Oh, easy. Down then. I know that this is gonna just burn through. It'll probably just melt straight through. Basically, after you've done it, it's gonna destroy it. Exactly. <laughs> Do you reckon it's accurate? I think we did a better job. That is... I think that is that way is, better than whatever I drew. That's pristine. <laughs> I, I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe we shouldn't be photographers. Maybe we should just be professional uh, <laughs> pumpkin cutter outers. I honestly don't know how we're going to do this. Like, there's that many people here. I've never set off a flare in front of people. Like, why would you ever set off a flare in front of people? <laughs> Let's actually just check who's in there and... We'll assess it. We'll assess it first, yeah. Right. There's people there, but I mean, I don't really think they're going to really care that yeah. much. Yeah. I seemed really calm in this situation, but... I was not calm at all. In fact, because there was so many people around, you can't even see it in the video, but there was so many people around. So if they saw us set off a flare, they could call the park ranger and then the park ranger could call the cops. I, I don't even know what could happen. And this was stupid, but I was freaking out. The problem with the flare is it's like, it draws a lot of attention. The smoke is probably gonna go into like the rest, not the rest of the forest, but like people will probably see it. 100%, that's why. That's why I reckon maybe if we just wait it out. We've already driven like an hour and a half to get here. More people just rocking up. <sighs> I'm not gonna be happy if we don't do it. All right, let's send it.
That look good? It looks shit. You know how to use that? <laughs> Still don't know how to use it. Yeah. There's people there, hang on. Down there. Oh god, this is definitely the most risky flesh shot that we've ever done. There's just so many things to do, I'm just freaking out. You're right, bro, you got this. Uh, put it in the back. Put it in the back of the, the pumpkin. Yeah, nice and gentle, just in the back there. Do it well, go up that way. Move, no, no, just go walk up that way with the smoke. Move out of the smoke. Fuck, I hate if it was overexposed. Fuck. Do you reckon we should do it again? Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm sh I'm literally shaking. <laughs> it's the final one. Let's do it. When you're ready. And now walk out of the smoke. Yeah. It's Halloween, baby. Check out my hands. That was so stressful. I know. We got it though, that's the main thing. I am never doing that again. That was such a stupid thing to do. <laughs> I reckon that was probably the most stressful photo shoot out of all the photo shoots that I've ever done. And I've done weddings before and they are damn stressful. There's people around, it draws so much attention. The fact that it's in a national forest, like it was just, it was not a good idea. But at the end of the day, we got some cool photos. Shooting on RAW on the Sony a7R 3 like, it retains the highlights so well. I was actually really surprised. He bought it all the way back and he actually ended up making up a really cool edit out of it. But then the second shoot, in my opinion, I think that that angle was better because the lighting was not nearly as harsh. There was a lot more shadows, so the lighting was more consistent on my face. And then the brighter parts ended up illuminating the smoke a little bit more. So it ended up making it pop a little bit more as well as the fact that I photoshopped it to make it pop even more. But at the end of the day, like, this shot, I reckon, is so sick. Would I do it again? Probably not. Am I happy I did it? Yes, because now I know not to do it again. <laughs> also, check this out. Mike ended up putting one of the raw photos up onto Dropbox as a competition so that anyone can download it, anyone can edit it. Look at all these entries. Like, these are all just from that. They just go forever. Like, some of them are like, Look at that, how cool is that? And they just keep going, and keep going, and keep going. Seriously, you guys are so awesome. All right, question of the day. Why is it bad to shoot in direct sunlight? Can you still take good photos when the sky isn't cloudy? Also, loving the videos, they're good to watch when taking a break from study for exams. Thanks, Tristan. Um, so, direct sunlight versus cloudy. Direct sunlight, the most harsh lighting there is. It casts really harsh shadows and it's just like, it's a very contrasty kind of lighting. Having clouds, clouds literally act as diffusers to the sun. So it just makes the lighting really nice and soft. It depends on your style of photography though. Like my style of photography, I like to have really consistent lighting. Some other photographers like to have really harsh lighting. So it, it's really just up to you. All right, well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing and have a happy Halloween. It's up to you. <laughs> you know what to do. That didn't make any sense. It was awesome hanging out with you again, and I'll catch you next time.